Jerry at Fair Oaks. Hello, Bruce. Hello. I see you've got your uniform. Yes, it's quite nice. Uh, look, there are a few things I want to tell you before you're here at Fair Oaks any longer. Yes? You, um, you remember those two plebes you met yesterday, Dugan and Phillips? Why, yes. What did you think of them? What do you mean? Well, I mean just that. What did you think of them? Well, I don't know quite how to answer that question, Mr. Morrison. If you mean did I like them, then I don't know. I'm not used to making snap judgments, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, look, you're new here. You're my roommate, so I wonder if you'd mind my giving a little advice. Oh, certainly not. What sort of advice? Well, this, uh, this Dugan kid is bad luck. I don't think I understand. I mean, he manages somehow or other to get people in trouble. I don't see how he can if the persons themselves aren't inclined that way. You don't get it, Bruce. He's just naturally poisoned. I do wish you'd tell me what you mean. Okay. Dugan got me into a lot of trouble. Now, don't tell anyone this, because I'd hate to look like a heel. Heel? You know what I mean. I don't want anybody to think that I'm repeating things. But if you're wise, you'll stay away from both Dugan and Phillips. I beg your pardon, Mr. Morrison, but I can choose my own friends or acquaintances. Okay, okay, have it your own way. I was just trying to tip you off to something, that's all. I appreciate your interest, but I'd like to form my own judgments. Mm -hmm. Well, better hurry and get dressed. I shall. This Dugan kid was in a circus. Circus? Really? Mm-hmm. Traveled with it. Ran away from home or something like that and joined. I thought you said he was uh, an orphan. Well, I did. I did. Uh, what I meant was he joined the circus, traveled with it, got into some messes or something. Well, he seems like a nice enough chap. Oh, I guess he's all right, but he just seems to be bad luck. I still don't see what you mean. Well, I... Look... For a kid who traveled with a circus, it just doesn't fit in for him to have enough money to come to school. He was supposed to be an orphan. Where did he get the money? <laughs> oh, that's pretty weak, Mr. Morrison. There are such things as wills, you know. Yeah, I know. Okay, I won't say any more about it. Did you see my dress boots? No, I've only been in my own locker. Thanks. Uh, why did you say this Dugan is bad luck? Well, he got, it, got me into a lot of trouble. He made me do a couple of foolish things. I'm going to stay clear of him from now on. And you'd advise me to do the same? That's up to you. I know it. But from what I've heard around the school here, Dugan and Phillips did quite a good thing in the... Uh, what was it? Linwell's rescue, you mean? Yes, yes, that's it. Well, maybe they did. Look here. Are you trying to tell me that you don't like Dugan and Phillips? I told you I'm not trying to tell you anything. I'm just trying to tip you off. And you can take it or leave it. I shall, thank you. I'm going to take a walk out to the polo field and watch practice. Want to come along? I should like to very much, thank you. Okay. About ready? Quite. Off to you. Did you ever do any riding, Bruce? Yes, in India. Much of it? Oh, quite a bit. Father played on the Darjeeling team, you know. Hmm. Do they keep a large stable here? Oh, yeah. Uh, Dugan has his own horse. His own horse? I don't understand. Well, it was sent here to him from the circus. Really? But I, I understood that no cadet was allowed to have things like that. <laughs> well, 
Well, maybe Dugan's an exception. I don't see how. Well, it was sent to him. The horse is supposed to belong to the school, but it seems that Jerry Dugan gets to ride him all the time. In fact, he's riding Splendor on the drill team. Splendor. Oh, that's the horse's name, I suppose. Hmm. Uh, here, we turn here. Oh, yes. Uh, but, Mr. Morrison, if the horse belongs to the school as you say it's supposed to, why does Dugan have the first claim on him? Well, that's something you have to ask Dugan. I... Oh, oh here comes Phillips. Oh, yes. Hiya, Bruce. Hello, Red. Good afternoon. Hi, Lee. Uh, going out to watch the practice? Yes, you came from there? Uh-huh, yeah. I got tired of standing out there alone, so I thought I'd walk in. Want to come back with us? Well, okay. Have anything to do for about an hour? All right. Looks like ni quite a nice field out here. Oh, I'll say it is. How's riding practice coming along, Lee? Swell. Splendor looks great in pivot position. Oh, that's the horse, Mr. Morrison. Huh? Uh, oh, 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 yeah. Uh, there are the stables there. Oh, I see them. Did you tell Bruce about Splendor Red? Mm, yeah, just a little. Mm. Uh, uh, does the horse belong to Mr. Dugan? Uh, say, they uh, got the shells out on the lake. Mm -hmm. You ask if the horse belongs to Jerry, Bruce. Well, he does and he doesn't. Pardon? Well, the horse did belong to Jerry. Mr. Randall, he's Jerry's guardian and the man who owns the circus Jerry was with, sent Splendor here to Fair Oaks. But Major Davis thought it would be better if the horse were a gift to the school rather than to one particular cadet. Dugan was pretty sore about that. Huh? Say, uh, uh, there you can see Splendor from here. The oh, white horse. Oh, is that Mr. Dugan up on him? Yeah, and that's Jerry. But, Red, what do you mean Jerry was sore about it? <laughs> well, wasn't he? Well, yeah, but... <laughs> okay, okay, forget about it. Was Mr. Dugan angry? Well, I guess so, but... Uh, they're taking the jumps now. Oh, yes, I see. We'll stand here by the sideboards. We can see better. Nice-looking ponies. Uh, do you ride, Bruce? Oh, a little. I say, Dugan didn't handle that last jump very well. No, he didn't. Well, he's tired. They've been at it for a couple of hours now. He failed to allow enough rain for the jump. Yeah, I noticed that, too. Mm, he's going to try it again. Yes. The horse seems a little sluggish. Maybe he isn't being handled right. No, he wasn't on that last jump. Too bad. Oh, they're calling practice off now. Want to walk over and take a closer look at the horses, Bruce? I should like to. Particularly Splendor. Mm, we'll introduce you to Sergeant Alden, too. If you ride, he'd be glad to know. There may be a place on the polo team. Thank you. I should be glad to know him. Okay. You're going to get a chance, because here he comes. Well, Sergeant Alden. Oh, uh, yes, Lee? Will you come here a minute, please? Certainly. All right. Sergeant Alden, I want you to meet Bruce Dow Campbell. He's a new cadet here at Fair Oaks, upperclassman. Oh, how are you, Campbell? Uh, Dow Campbell. The last name is Dow Campbell. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, we hope you'll like it here at Fair Oaks. Everyone else does. I think I shall. Bruce rides, Sergeant Alden. Good. Did you ever play any polo, Bruce? Yes, a bit in India. Oh, that's a good enough recommendation. India was the birthplace of polo. Did you ever play on any organized team? Oh, not exactly, sir. My father played on Darjeeling team. I used to practice with him. Oh, good. Then how about coming out for the team here? Oh, I shall, sir. Oh, here comes Jerry. Oh, all right, boys. I'll see you all later. I hope you'll come out, Bruce, because we can use all the good men we can get. Thank you, sir. Well, see you later, boys. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye Cheerio. Hiya, Jerry. Hi, Lee. Hello, Bruce. Hi, yeah. Jerry. Good afternoon. Woo! What a session that was. Sergeant Allen put, really put us through our paces. We were out on the field a good two hours. That last jump wasn't so good, Jerry. Yeah, I know it wasn't. I didn't give enough rain. And that's what Bruce was saying. No. Uh... What do you say we take a walk over to Mac's place? Okay, by me. I could use a bottle of pop. Oh, Want to come along, Bruce? Red? No, thank you. I don't. No. Oh, okay. Just thought I'd ask. Uh, uh, your mount seemed a little sluggish out there, Mr. Dugan. Well, I was a little tired. It wasn't Splendor's fault. I guess he needs a little more training. Splendor? He does not. He's the best horse out there. Well, I just thought I'd mention that he seemed a little sluggish. That was my fault. I, I didn't give him enough rain, and he pulled back a little when he got to the jump. You can't, can't blame that on the horse. Well, what are you getting sore about, Jerry? He isn't getting sore, Ed. Well, if he isn't, I never saw anybody mad. I'm not sore. Well, I can't understand why one little remark should lead to a quarrel. It's rather silly, don't you think? It's not silly. Oh, come on, Jerry. And let's oh. all go over to Max and have some ice cream or something. You're just tired, Jerry. And some sore. Cut it out, Red. Sure, what's the use of arguing? Uh, how about it, Bruce? Well, let's have some ice cream. No, sir, thank you. you. Okay, that's the way you feel about it. Oh, hold it. Here comes Sergeant Alden. Oh, uh, Bruce. Yes, sir? Are you, uh, are you doing anything in particular now? Why, no, sir, nothing at all. Well, I've got a little time now myself, and if you care to let me watch you ride, I can get a line on you right now. Well, that's swell. Well, I don't have riding clothes on, sir. Well, that's all right. You won't need them. 
You won't need spurs or boots? Oh, very good, sir, just as you say. <laughs> that that kind of talk sounds like army talk. Uh, I, I suppose I picked up a lot of my father's mannerisms, sir. Oh, I see. Well, okay, Bruce, do you want to try? When I see your style, I, I may be able to place you on one of the teams. Well, thank you, sir. I'll try. Good. Now, oh, take Splendor there, the, uh, the white horse. Splendor? He's tired, sir. Oh, that's all right, Jerry. This won't be a hard workout. Oh, just take him around the field once, Bruce. Uh, you trot, canter, gallop, and let me see a few wheels and turns. Very good, sir. Gosh, Jerry. He gets on the horses if he knows what it's all about. Mm-hmm. You can usually tell whether a man knows horses by the way he mounts. Oh. All right there, Bruce. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Hmm. Nice seat. Good line. Say, he's all right. Say, did you see that? I didn't see him touch the reins, but Splendor broke right into a gallop. Oh, yeah? He knows what he's doing, all right. All right, Bruce. That's enough. Bring him back. No wheels are turned, sir? No. No, I've seen enough. Oh, come here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, we're having a pra practice game here tomorrow. P polo, I mean. How would you like to play on one of the teams? Oh, I may be a bit rusty, sir, but I'll try. Well, that's all right. I'll expect you here tomorrow afternoon at 3. Oh, and, uh, and you too, Jerry. Yes, sir. Well, see all your boys later. Goodbye. Goodbye, Goodbye sir. Cheerio. Oh, that was great, Blues. Uh, Splendor didn't seem sluggish when you were on him. Thank you. I told you it was me, not the horse. <laughs> then you should learn how to ride, Dugan. Well, after two hours, anyone would be tired. Well, that all depends. Depends on what? Well, the rider. I mean to say that the rider has a lot to do with the horse becoming exhausted. Say, let's go over to Max. We won't be able to spend much time over there. Okay. Uh, you won't come along, huh, Bruce? No, thank you. Fred? Hmm. I'll stick around here. I want to show Bruce the grounds and the boathouse. Mm. Well, okay. See you later. So long. So long. See you later. Well, that's that. Splendor's a good horse, isn't he? Oh, very good. Well, how about a, taking a walk down to the boathouse? Very well. Uh, Mr. Morrison. Yeah? I should like to apologize to you. To me? What for? Well, to tell you the truth, when you were talking about Dugan in our room, I rather had the idea there might have been some motive on your part for trying to get me to dislike Dugan. Well, what made you think that? Oh, uh, just the way you spoke. Well, why the apology? I... I disbelieved what you were saying. Oh, well, you don't have to apologize for it. Yes, yes, I think I do. Because right at this moment, I'm beginning to think you were right about Mr. Dugan. <laughs>